In this video, I'm going to share a lesson from our new Power Query Pro course. This is an online course that will take you from complete beginner to expert with Power Query. So by now you've probably heard that you need to learn Power Query, but you might not be sure why that is. So to give some context here, this lesson is from section one in the course. In section one, I give a demo and overview of Power Query. We look at how to automate the data cleanup and import process for a CSV file and look at how much time that can save with using Power Query. And at the end of that section, I share this lesson on the benefits of Power Query. Because if you're going to invest time and money on learning this tool, it's really important to understand why that is. And there are a lot of amazing benefits of learning Power Query, not just for time savings, but also career growth as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the lesson on the benefits of Power Query. So we're going to conclude this section by talking about the benefits of Power Query. I'm gonna repeat myself a bit here, but I think it's really important to understand how powerful Power Query can be and how life-changing it can be as well in terms of our careers. So the first major benefit with Power Query is of course, time and money savings. Power Query is going to save you a lot of time and that time can equate to dollars and I encourage you to equate that time to dollars, especially when you're talking about uh, promotions or raises uh, with your manager. Make sure to uh, know how much time you're saving when implementing tools like this to do automation. Another thing that Power Query can do is of course reduce errors or improve accuracy. It kind of means the same thing there, probably should be reduce errors and improve accuracy, but essentially this tool will help us reduce errors with those boring, redundant tasks of cleaning up data every day or every week or every month, whatever it is. The tasks that just we typically don't like to do and can take up to 80% of our time, uh, we can really reduce a lot of errors and make our outcomes better. And of course, delegation and career growth is an important one as well. And I'm going to talk about that in this video because it's not one that everyone thinks about, especially delegation. So let's just kind of look back here to the weekly uh, orders report update that we did, the process that we just did, that we just updated with Power Query. When this is a manual process, and if we were to just do this in an Excel spreadsheet, it might look something like this. These are all the steps kind of listed out that we did with Power Query. But if you had to write all these steps out to give this to someone to do every week, especially if you do this process and you went on vacation and you needed someone else to do it for you, this is what the instruction manual might look like. And the step there at the bottom is the most important one. The deadline for this report is Monday at 7 a.m. because that's when the assembly uh, line starts and when we start uh, manufacturing these orders. So what does that mean for you as the data analyst or the person managing this role? That means that you might have to do this uh, task on Sunday night or very early Monday morning because you wanna capture all those orders that came in over the weekend and so that might mean you need to you know, either stay up late or get up early to do this process kind of outside of work hours. And this is very common, it happens a lot, uh, especially in data type roles. So what happens is you might end up starting to feel like this. If this is just one of your tasks and maybe you have 10 or 12 other projects that you work on for cleaning up data, it starts to get a bit stressful. You got all these deadlines going on and you're managing all these different projects. So what's this look like with the automated process when we brought in the magical donut that is Power Query? Well, it really turns into a three-step process. The first step is we're gonna export that data, that CSV file from our Etsy store. We're going to replace the file in the folder. Now there's different ways to do that, like I showed in the previous video, but essentially we're gonna take that CSV file, just uh, drag it into a folder to replace it. And then we're going to go into Excel open that file, right click, refresh that query. And that's it, three step process and it's done. So what that means is that you might not have to be the person that's doing this process anymore. Could the assembly line manager run this process as soon as they get in at maybe 6.30 on Monday morning or whatever time it is, could they run this process instead of you having to do it? Typically the answer to that is yes. So this is where delegation comes in because you can be the one that created this process that might still need to edit it if things change with your, your export files or you wanna add or remove some steps there. That's still up to you, but you don't have to do that every week or every day or every month or whatever it is, every quarter. Uh, you can potentially delegate this to someone else. Now that might sound a bit scary because then you're not doing the work and someone else is, 
But what that does is it opens up more time for you to work on bigger projects, to go find bigger projects in the organization that need help with this type of automation and help other departments. And that can really help you grow in your career as you start to kind of spread your wings throughout the organization, help others get recognized by other departments and maybe the C-suite or the executives and things like that. That can really help with your growth. So essentially what we're doing is taking that manual process with all those steps and automating it and again, this will uh, result in all those benefits of using Power Query. So I really wanna emphasize this because if you're gonna spend the time to learn Power Query and understand it and implement it, there has to be some benefit for you to do that. Otherwise, you might just start to default back to your old ways of manually doing tasks, and I don't want that for you. So I'm gonna stress this. I know I might sound redundant here, a bit like a broken record, but I'm gonna stress this throughout the program just in terms of the time savings and the benefits of Power Query because it's an amazing tool. It can be a bit overwhelming to start, but keep at it, keep going, and I know you'll start to love this tool and have a lot of benefit from it. All right, so that concludes section one. I'll see you in section two, where we'll start talking about basic transformations. So that was a lesson from section one of our new Power Query Pro course. I just finished recording the course and it's absolutely packed with short video lessons to help take you from beginner to expert with Power Query. Now we're just putting the finishing touches on it and I can't wait to share it with you. And we're going to open enrollment for our Black Friday event. We're going to have a very special offer for you. It'll be the lowest price we'll ever sell this course for. And to get notified about this, we have a waiting list. And you can click the link below this video to join the waiting list and we will also have early access for you. So make sure you get on that waiting list to get the lowest price and early access to this awesome new course on Power Query. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.